It is HBO's most popular TV series of all time. And now UBC will be teaching Game of Thrones. A new course will explore George R.R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire saga and the hit TV series. For more on this, joined by the course instructor, UBC associate English professor Robert Rose. Robert, hi. Thanks for being here. Hi. Nice to be here. I was uh, a bit unfair, perhaps, at the top. Uh, made, made, made light of the fact that uh, you're doing popular culture out at UBC, but I suppose it's no different than studying Tolkien or Bradbury or some other sci-fi author. Well, exactly. And what we have to keep in mind as well is this is one course out of 10 or 15 courses that a, an English student will be doing during the degree. So it's, it's, it's an opportunity for them to take what they learn by looking at Dickens or Chaucer or Shakespeare and apply it to more contemporary texts. Yeah, I suppose we have a... Th uh a bias when it comes to literature and, and looking at the classics, but uh, this could very well be a classic in 50 years. Yeah, well, possibly. Who knows? Um, you know, nobody thought that Tolkien was going to be a classic when it came out first. And, uh, you know, it, I think it's really important for students to not only study the classic literature, but also to study the kind of things that are being written today and, you know, and also consumed on a massive scale today. It, will the course focus on the literature or on the TV show uh, more... I mean, it weighted. I mean, which would which would be the, yeah. the greater uh, greater focus? It's very much on the books. Um, as as everybody who watches the TV uh, series and reads the books knows, there are some certain differences between the two, and I'm not going to give away any spoilers for those who <laughs> haven't read them. But um, we're very much focused on the books. We're focused on Martin as a writer rather than the series um, and the, and the series producers. This is for what? What sort of student? Uh, freshman or, or upperclassmen? This is for final year students doing their final research project. Um, so it allows them to uh, take, uh, take it something they're passionately interested in and spend a concentrated period of time working on that one thing. Are you a fan of Martin? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan, but I'm completely fascinated by the phenomena. Um, you know, to have this many people wrapped up in a series and a story and a narrative is, 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 is on, on this scale is, is great. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of the books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm conflicted about them, too. I've read them all, yeah. and, and, I, and I thought they were great to start, and I'm, now I'm not so sure that I'm enjoying the, the later chapters, later volumes. Yeah, Martin's a great storyteller. He's, he's an amazing storyteller. He gets you turning the pages. He gets you turning the chapters. Um, sometimes he could do with a bit more of an editor. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> the course is titled Modern Medieval, the Song of Ice and Fire as Contemporary Medievalism. It, that, there is a, a, a genre of literature that has really focused on that sort of uh, fantasy med medievalism. Yeah, there is. So, so, talk, uh, so Martin's work is fantasy. It's not. It's not history. But of course, for a lot of people, this is as much medieval history as they're ever going to watch. And for a lot of people, they're going to confuse Martin's Middle Ages with the real Middle Ages. So that's what's fascinating for me is that Martin's creating a Middle Ages for people who who don't really know about the Middle Ages. Compare this to Tolkien. Can you? Yeah, I can. Um, Tolkien, you have to think about when they're being written. Tolkien's writing uh, during the Second World War and just after the Second World War, which is a time of great darkness, but it's also a great time of great hope after the war. And also his, his moral view of the world is very black and white. People are orcs or they're hobbits, right? They're, they're either good or they're, or they're bad. Martin's novels are about people. There are very few monsters. Aside from the White Walkers and the dragons, most of the characters in Martin's novels are people, and people are grey. They're complex. They're both uh, good and bad. Good people do bad things. Terrible people do good things sometimes. And that, I think, reflects much more of Martin's... Um, you know, he's writing in the 1990s, the 2000s, and now. And uh, I think that reflects uh, you know, the modern era in a way in which uh, Tolkien's work doesn't. Martin has been criticised heavily for his... De, uh, portrayal of sexual violence against women. Will you explore that in your course? Yeah, very much, because um, the, especially with the TV series, and that, of course that's where a lot of people know it from, there is a lot of graphic sexual violence in, in, in the TV series, and it's put a lot of people off. But there are also some incredibly strong female characters in Martin's work, and, and that's where you get this, this strange dichotomy in, in his work. Um, 
And uh, the other thing that I think is really interesting about the violent sexuality in his in his novels and in, and in the TV series is the way in which it's not really about the Middle Ages at all. Um, it's really about the dark desires of the modern time being reflected or projected back onto this onto this other world. Um, you know, there's a reason why people watch it, <laughs> um, uh, and it's uh, it, it's not always good. Will this be popular? Are you a lot of students uh, signing up? Uh, yeah, so this course opened uh, for registration in June and it filled in about three hours. Um, wow. And uh, ever since I've been uh, basically answering emails going, sorry, there's no more room, maybe next year. There are, um, com I mean, I know there's been other popular culture uh, courses taught at UBC. Does this compare to those or, or has it surpassed those in terms of interest? Um, I wouldn't like to compare because this is a class of, that only has a course cap of 16. It's a seminar. Um, other big pop course, uh, culture courses have been, you know, 100 registration and such like. I just know that I get a lot of emails about it. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it there. I want to thank you for your time. Uh, UBC Associate English Professor Robert Rouse, who's teaching a course on Game of Thrones. Appreciate your time this afternoon. Great, thank you. Take care.